Hello and in this demo for Apache Isis I want to show you what the Quick Start Archetype generates as an application. So the Quick Start Archetype you can find from our documentation page and the full details are um, about how to run it are, are on the page here including this command. So I've run this already and um, this is the result and I've also built the application which we would build with Maven Clean install, done that already and to run the application there's several ways uh, the easiest way and what I'll use for this demo is using maven ant run which runs up this self-hosted war file so um, let's click start and start the application it's just spinning up an embedded jetty server here and in a second our application starts so as you can see we get a, a, a start screen here and uh, there's a few links to follow uh, there's actually two different uh, use, user interfaces for uh, Apache Isis so we're going to start with the first one which is the wicket link and we'll move on to the restful link in a second but the wicket link uh, takes us to the wicket viewer which is for end users human beings and this is the application actually I've already logged in in the past when I was just rehearsing for this demo let me just log out uh, to take us back to the uh, the screen here and uh, I can log in with Sven and pass is the password the details are on the website um, and what we're looking at now is a dashboard for a to-do application you can see here in this column here that the um, the, number of to -do, the number of to-do items we have is zero there aren't any but they are categorized by date range or indeed by category um, so what we will do is we'll install some fixtures uh, some sample data and um, what we can do is return the first of those so let's do that And so here's the first of our to-do items, buy some bread. And um, to sort of explain what you're looking at here, this is a to-do item object as rendered by Apache Isis automatically. Um, and we have a number of properties, description, category, subcategory, completed. We have um, priority and other information. And then down the bottom, we have a couple of collections, dependencies, which is open and there are no records in there and similar to which is a collection that is actually um, collapsed you can see a little plus sign there perhaps so that's collapsed but I could open that up and I can see some other items that this is uh, similar to so this item is similar to um, buy milk it would seem um, because they're in the same uh, category I think is the, is the classification of a similar item so I could click through to um, buy milk and we have a very similar kind of representation. Okay, if I click on the edit button, I could uh, make a change. You'll see that not every uh, field became editable there because what I can also do is I can uh, make changes through actions as well. So here's me updating the category. In fact, um, this would be the category and the subcategory. So we'll go to domestic garden or actually professional um, what's the list of things here education okay so that's changed that uh, other things we can do update the cost in a very similar way and um, we could add a dependency so we could say it's all kind of made up here isn't it but um, I have to buy some bread before I can buy the milk and so that's now been added in there or of course I could remove it as well and it automatically give me a, the option there so that's um, the basic of the of the program here um, there's a whole bunch of other things we have going on um, we could go back and, and look at these uh, items by priority and um, over on the analysis page we can basically uh, build a view model which is showing us an analysis of the different to-do items and in fact actually the dashboard which I get to if I click on the main link here is, is summarizing that uh, those two view models okay uh, over here on the left you can see we've got a little slide out panel which is effectively um, uh, a bookmarks if you like um, both of items and also of actions and then over here we've also got breadcrumbs so I can also spin back to previous objects and if I click on this over here 
this allows me to grab the URL so I can copy that control C and um, open up a new tab and takes me to there another thing that we could do let's go to um, say supposing that I wanted to do is to send a link to my colleague um, and have this thing ordered by due date and I don't want to see the dependencies information so I've kind of got a slightly customized view of this particular object again if I click on the link here and I copy that then if I create a new tab again and paste in that link you can see that um, that has retained those same links if I compare the two tabs there so there's quite a few different features um, built into the viewer and I hope that gives you an idea of, of what ISIS is all about so um, let's go back to the main page here our uh, little entry page so the, the application you've seen there was was based upon basically the to-do item and the to-do to -do items class and we've got, got a couple of links here off to github where you can look at the code in a bit more detail so I'll let you look at that at your leisure the other last thing to show is the restful viewer and so this is another user interface but it's this time designed for machines to use and so this is um, a representation of, of the information in the domain model through JSON as implementing uh, what's called the RESTful object specification so if I click on services then you can see there's an, um, a list of the services that kind of correspond to the menu items we saw at the top there we've also got um, to do items is one of the services and then the members available one of those is not yet complete action so um, if I click on there we can see uh, the not yet complete uh, action definition and the most important thing here is to click on the invoke link uh, with a get and that will take me through to the corresponding uh, links so we've got uh, three of them four five however many there are plenty of them so there we go and then there's one of our to-do items organized brown bag due by whenever so if I go back to the wicket application that was effectively a JSON equivalent of me clicking on the to-do items menu option here and then the not yet complete and you can see there's our organized brown bag so we get with wicket, the wicket viewer a pretty uh, complete uh, human user usable interface but if you need to build something more sophisticated or m for more tailored to a particular requirement then you can reach into the RESTful API and use that as well and as I say all of that is generated basically from the domain classes that we can see here to do item and to do items okay I hope that's given you a flavor about what Apache ISIS is all about um, do check it out by going to the website isis.apache.org